and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Tarek. Having Pup join us here for the intro. Um, yeah, so we're going to be playing our next Meme Tier Monday deck. This one is combining um, Vladimir and Tarek, two, two awesome champions. So how these work together is that Tarek, whenever it supports, gives itself and another ally tough this round. And that tough is really nice whenever you have a Vladimir um, attacking and then it would do one to your other allies and one to the Nexus. But of course, if they're tough, they're not going to be taking that one damage. So that's what we got going on here. And so besides that, we want to have our champions survive. And we also want to be doing little points of damage in different places. Um, so we also have like a card like Mentor of the Stones. Now, Mentor of the Stones would die to Vladimir unless it is supported by Tarek. But it can also grant um, a supported ally plus two, plus two, create a bunch of gems for us. The gems, gems could be pretty nice in here because the gems do heal an ally one. And so when we're talking about cards like Crimson Curator, Crimson Disciple, if we're doing like self damage to them with Vladimir and Transfusion and, and you know, our other cards like Demolitionist and Crimson Aristocrat, if we're doing all this like little bit of self damage, like one damage to a bunch of our stuff, then gems are really nice because they get to heal the ally one. So we can, you know, like do one to the Curator and then heal the Curator for one, you know, just that kind of stuff. Um, plus if each gem pumps up the power and, you know, then if we keep pumping up power, then we can have Overwhelm with cards like Might or Cat of the Arm. And the Overwhelm, um, you know, like with Tarek, could also be pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, what else? We also have Noxion Fervor in here, which is a pretty good removal spell. But I was also thinking that Noxion Fervor could be kind of cool with Tarek to finish the opponent out. Like if they if they stabilize, you can go like Noxion Fervor on your Tarek and do three damage to them and then attack and support and do another three damage to them and maybe you're supporting like a three health crimson disciple and you make it tough and then you get to do the noxion fervor on that that could be kind of cool um yeah so um just a bunch of little cool things here all right so we're gonna go play some vladimir Tarek. we're gonna go like og board guardian card back we're gonna go og we have, don't use those too often no, the camera frame's not new. No, I've had that for a while. Got that nice little camera frame. Okay, we are playing against Garen Tarek. We're going to want to be curving out. Transfusion seems like a pretty decent spell, but maybe we just try to get some cheaper units to start with. Get him, Crimson Disciple. Mountain Goat. Mountain Goat's pretty sweet. Remember my words. Yeah, and that's also true. Yeah, the mentor, even if the mentor dies, it'll still give the plus two, plus two first. And perhaps able to... Alright, well, I definitely want to... Gotta kill this mentor of the stones. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, even if mentor of the stones dies to a Vladimir ability, it'll give the plus two, plus two, and maybe save something else that would have died to the Vladimir ability. Lot of gems over there. You make this Fleet Feather Tracker a lot better, Challenger. Remember the objectives. Sorry, Solari Soldier. If I had one extra mana, I'd play you. Turn. 
It's like what, what my opponent's doing would be pretty pretty bad against Bilgewater, <laughs> right? Like pretty unplayable against Bilgewater, but against non-Bilgewater, that's pretty awesome. They get just so much value with all these gems now. For justice, for Demacia. Ours is the one true light. The wicked must fall. I don't like this Pale Cascade lag. You know, it just kind of has like a little bit of lag. I don't think they should have challenged the 1-2, but I guess they didn't want me to block with the 1-2, but I don't know. I didn't feel like they didn't need a challenge there. Alright, Crimson Curator was an awesome card to draw. Especially with these these cards. That That is awesome. Get us some more Crimson cards. It's just blood, darling. Maybe I should attack for three first. It's nothing personal. I can't cast any of these gems right now. So I hope one of these I hope these three spells aren't more pump spells. I will be sad if this doesn't work. Mm. I am sad. They have only spells? They not have a unit? My shield is yours. No, I mean that's a unit. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Honor guide me. I'll take it. They can basically make one threat, you know, they can make this thing like, you know, in a, a million two, basically. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Of course that can kill Tarek. Kill anything. This is the mountain's final test. Um. This is difficult. It's time to show. No. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Tarek's level up effect keeps an ephemeral unit alive for more than one turn. Celestial power. I did not really Strike at their notice that. No, that. That was not something I noticed. Up. Your journey ends. 
Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that, yeah, that could be that could be definitely some kind of deck idea. Don't worry, I am here. I spoke your name, but never expected you to appear. Can't play these gems right now. For beauty. Cool. So we need two out of seven. We're at two out of seven for Tarek. This could be three, four, five. These gems grant awareness. Wow. Oh wait, that's still lethal. Never mind. I was like, why did they just kill me? And I was like, oh wait, that's overwhelmed. It's still lethal. Outrageous. GG's. Should have healed should've healed my thing one. Play that and, and healed that. The 5-4 should turn into a 5-5. Five five. All those three ones are really awesome for my opponent. Those mountain goats. I I I just would be really scared of playing that card with the popularity of Bilgewater. That's why I don't really want to play that card at all, but um, you know, this matchup it worked out really well for him. Now I guess I'm not doing anything turn one or turn two. And then what, Mentor the Stones on three, then Tarek on four? That's that's so slow. But I do like these three cards, okay. Bless the people and fear the head. Something right away. Punish transgressions. They don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. I wonder how they, they talked about how they're thinking about making Ezreal harder to level up. I wonder if it's going to be kind of like these cards where it's going to be like, like Tarek, like Ezreal's going to be like, you know, it's less than eight, but it's like I've seen you target enemies like, you know, five times or whatever. Celestial power. Strike at their foundations. All right, so turning picks into a 4-4. Four, four. I mean, I can do this, but that thing's usually just a 0-1. I'm just going to let that happen. I mean, it feels like like barrier is what they're going to have. Like, like probably like repost. All right, like if I, I put the Imperial Demolitionist here, they put repost, then... Oh, wait, they don't have repost. They're not Demacia. Well... We'll see. Alright, I'm just gonna let this die. I'm gonna play Tarek.
I want to get this out before we start targeting and supporting everything all the time. A mountain divides us. I've climbed bigger. So that's four out of seven. I guess if I would have played, no further. If I would have played the other one, then we could add transfusion, level up, Tarek. I'm glad we didn't play the other one. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. That worked out. We have another pill cascade. It's time to shine. I guess I have the blessing of Targon. We're definitely going to want to go right to combat. So that's going to be five. Do want to level up Tarek also. So basically, I'd have to play either Transfusion or Blessing of Targon first. So the whole, I can't take damage or die thing, I think means, I guess I should have done that on the Demolitionist then. So then I think this isn't going to survive damage, so we won't make things, or that won't survive damage, we won't deal damage. <clears throat> I should have done that on the Demolitionist, I guess. Willing to go down to one. Oh no no, my Crimson Disciple's gonna die. What am I doing? No no no, I was gonna do this after damage to kill them. I was just focused on that. Cause I I didn't want to do it first and then they respond with another. Oh. That was my bad. Ugh. I basically I didn't want them to res you know respond with like another stun thing so I was gonna let damage happen but right after I clicked okay obviously right after I clicked okay I realized that the Crimson Disciple was gonna die that was 
was my bad. <laughs> yeah, I know, my bad, my bad. Yeah, the monkeys do work. Powder monkeys? They get a lot of damage in. Oh, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm planning on the two decimates. You cannot win. We'll see. Hey, what's up, Nick? Yeah, this is this was a, a donation deck idea that that uh, viewer asked about. Um, and so yeah, trying it out for the first time. One and one now. Lost, lost to another Taric deck that out gemmed us. The first game, it was a close one though. And uh, yeah, we got our Crimson stuff. We got our Taric making things tough. We got some gems running around here. All right, Bilgewater, Noxus. I always struggle against this deck, so. Pale Cascade's just worth it as just like a great card, but we obviously need to draw our units. There's a unit. The, journey is difficult. These will protect you. the gift giver. Be brave. We'll ask about Twisted Fate, Tarek. Um Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what you would do with Twisted Fate, Tarek, either. This is a poor block with this 1-1. One, one. Let's... I'm fine trading that my 1-drop for, like, Ravenous Flock that's... You know, Ravenous Flock being all super good and everything. I'm fine with that. Um... If they mattered, I'd let them live. Gonna try to... We're gonna heal that so it doesn't just die right away. We go Pill Cascade, draw a card. Where's our other units there, pup? That's fine with me. We're trading like our, our one mana and two mana cards that aren't very good for premium removal spells. We're also up on cards now, five and four. I like that we haven't seen the three drop because the three drop's unbeatable. So I'm really glad they don't have that card. Um, that card, darn it, Petty Officer. Well, that card's unbeatable. Well, looks like the game's over now. I mean, I can, it's either I'm taking a lot of damage, which means I die, or I have to waste my calling strike on this thing, which means they'll have like twisted fate, and so on. We got lots of transfusions. Transfusion does say you need two allies. That's not easy to do. Ooh, 
All right. All right, soldier. You want to be another ally? I'm always up for a round or two. Yep. Now I don't have calling strike for that. Cool. No ravenous flock. That's good. Oh, hey, calling strike. What's up? I would like to play Solari Soldier, please. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess I'm just never going to kill Twisted Fate. of the sun's true light. I need more runs! Ugh. Petty officer is unbeatable. Who's fallen for blood? Follow the horizon. One suffers, another thrives. No I really hope I draw a unit. Some kind of ally. Oh, a lord and master. We really hope we draw some kind of ally. Please. Hooray. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Dang, that card seems unbeatable too. All these cards seem unbeatable. Awakening. So they're like, just shows how good Petty Officer is. Petty Officer just makes a one drop that that makes a Brood Awakening. You know, like just the Petty Officer gave them a three two plus the one drop plus all these things. That card is insane at value wise. Insane. There's fashionably late, and then there's this. <clears throat> so Petty Officer can be a 6-5 divided in divided in two bodies at max. Well, that's, that is not true. You can get a 4-3 with Petty Officer. One, but then two, just the value cards of like, you know, being able to, for, to be able to be a removal spell with Fleet Feather Tracker or, you know, crazy value with like those, with the Mage Seeker. There, you can do some crazy stuff with that card.
You're still playing stuff? Stop. So Petty Officer was a 3-1 and I didn't really see any play. What if Petty Officer was, you know, now it's a 3-2 and now it's just kind of too good. What if they just make it back down to 2-2? Two -two? Kind of split the difference. Comparing Petty Officer and... Um, like when you compare Petty Officer and Shadow Assassin, it's pretty silly that Shadow Assassin was nerfed down to a 1-2. damage one suffers another thrives I was obviously hoping to be able to use that the next turn um, you know with the offensive damage All right, nine mana. These two cost like eight together. We've played two Ravenous Flocks already. No, Shadow Assassin did not deserve that nerf. Um... Problem here is, you know, Captain Farron's only gonna have two health. So there's a lot of cards they could have that just kills the Captain Farron, and then we don't get that all that overwhelm damage in. But I do want to be able to play Might and Decimate, so it's it's a little rough. That's really good news. Now they're just left with one card to try to help them stay alive this turn. Alright, GG's. Captain Farron getting it done. We didn't even need the Decimates. But an 8 8 Vladimir. Thanks to the Mentor and Stones. And then might working out. All right, we actually beat Le we actually beat um, Petty Officer. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Uh, Constantine says a two one would at least be more assassiny. A one two assassin? Come on. I agree. Yeah, it could at least be a two one. Uh, yeah, we just keep this hand. Looks just fine. Well, I guess we are taking too long to make our decision. Next game. We're obviously not counting that as a win, not counting that as a game played. this. So we're going to be going with um, Crimson Disciple, Mentor, trying to mentor granted the plus two, plus two. Um, Aristocrat, give it plus two, plus zero. And then Cat of the Arm, give it plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm. So we're going to make this Crimson Disciple into being super big with Overwhelm. Nice of you to join us on turn two, Solari Soldier. The old top card puff cap. There's another one. I love 
have a taste of the action. What? Why even play the Poro Cannon and discard Coral Creatures? What are they... Furry and sneaky. I like it. Why? Looking into the future, I see... Furry and sneaky. I like it. Way to get cards out of your hand pretty quickly for uh, for Fizz. Or sorry, for, for sorry, I was thinking for for a card like Jinx. Yeah, that's completely different. Fizz. For a card like Jinx, uh, let's deal. Maybe one to this thing. No. You live probably. Look what you did. I know it makes it easy for them to block my Crimson Aristocrat this turn. But it's going to be better for the Cat of the Arm. No gills, no entry. Hmm. I don't think that worked out. So if we get another attack turn, we should be able to win. Be playing Professor Von Yep, right? With all these one drops. Who gets tossed? All right. Yep. GGS. My mail. Second time we played against that deck today. Last time we had some elusives and we were able to block, so we won this game. This time did not have any elusives. <laughs> nah, monkey business isn't terrible. It's a cool card. They killed us on turn five. They they had to. They were going to be very dead on a turn at six. Uh, let's see. Twisted Fate, Leona. Looks fine. We can't be attacking for turn... For six on turn two, but that'd be with a four-one Solari soldier. So very easy to kill. Not a great plan against Bilge Water, I don't think. If they played nothing here, I was actually gonna just not play anything. I was gonna pass. Oh, actually, no, passing wouldn't have worked because you can't play two three threes the next turn. Is the one true light. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Devotion to battle. Nah, that's not worth it. The guilty were bad. Warriors end. Gonna be passing. Bask in her radiant blessing. I wanna have the mana available to help protect Tarek and all that kind of stuff. Don't really need to play the aristocrat right now.
My opponent, yeah, what happened last game, my opponent played Mind Meld, which, and they played four spells previously, so it turned all of their Elusives into four fours. And that was enough damage to kill me. Don't worry, I am here. I spoke your name, but never expected you to appear. Never lost a fair game, or played one. All right, so Tarek's at five out of seven now. Believe or burn. So I can Noxion Fervor my own, my ally, to deal three damage to another one of my allies. And then that's me targeting allies twice. <laughs> Level up Taric. In case that happens. They go nice, cross the time, yeah. Taric Fiora, but those work pretty well. So that's six. Devotion through battle. I don't think they're doing four damage with three mana. Can you float? I could certainly try. Definitely level enough Taric with this might. So what else are we going to might? I kind of feel like doing this 3 1, because like if the 3 1 dies, that's okay. No, so it should be the 3 2. I get at least more difficult to. Oh, wait, wait, they can't die. Right. So, yeah, so it should be the, the gift giver, because they can't die. And besides hush, they can hush that gift giver, that's fine. All right, GG's. That was a real good showing there for Vladimir Tarek with just, you know, like transfusion, helping to level up um, Tarek and, and everything like that. And just your Crimson cards, like the Aristocrat being another target to be able to help level up. So there we go, three and two, and both of our losses were super close. They were both ones that we could have definitely won. Our deck felt pretty powerful, felt pretty good. Do like uh, Tarek with a lot of the stuff. Yeah, those played a lot of close games here and a lot of a lot of good games. Um, I think there's I think there's something here. You know, maybe the list isn't absolutely perfect yet, but yeah, I think there was a lot of really good stuff here with this deck. So there we go, another interesting. Uh, 
a new champion with an old champion throwing that together Tarek and vladimir pretty awesome all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and leave those comments what do you think of vladimir Tarek? what do you think of some of these other ones like timo nightfall you know or any of the other decks or just what do you want to see next week on meme tier monday you got any ideas feel free to put them in the chat all right but thank you so much for watching some vladimir Tarek. And I'll see you for the next video.